So, it's been a while since I mixed a record in the studio, so I figured I'd um, document it this time. Uh, the band is called City in Transit. The Pro Tools session looks like this. It's um, really well organized, um, very well tracked. Um, pretty simple stuff, Not nothing too crazy going on here. I augmented the kick and the snare with samples from the same kit that are right here. This this is where the samples were. This is the track of the uh, triggered kick and snare. The toms are also augmented right here. Um, stereo overhead mono room, uh, bass guitar, uh, two mics for rhythm in Fredman. Um, same same for all the guitars. So there's rhythm for left side, rhythm right, and also rhythm right. Uh, additional tracks, uh, clean guitar, some dirty verse stuff, um, vocal and double, vocal and double. Um, piano stuff is actually just using a Pro Tools instrument. It's using, what is this thing called? The Mini Grand. Sounds great, actually. Um, today, we're having fun. We're using the SSL 9000 J Desk. Beautiful thing. I love this. Um, we're actually using, what am I at, 44 plus 8, so I'm at uh, 50, 52 channels so far. So I've got, I don't know, 10 channels left, 12 channels left on the desk before I run out of stuff. Um, in terms of processing, well, you want to look at the tracks, I guess. We've got, there it is kick, the kick sample, snare sample, snare top and bottom, tom, tom, uh, tom sample, tom two, tom sample, overhead pair, room pair, di bass, guitar one, clean guitar, guitar two, guitar three, guitar four, synth, which is actually really a guitar track. These are the VCA masters, so these are just kind of controlling everything so I don't have to move. Over here we got piano, the chorus double and the chorus lead, the verse lead and verse double, harmony. There's a, a bus for all the vocals. Vocal verb, vocal delay, long delay, and the H3000. Parallel compression for the drums, uh, and another guitar track actually stuck down at the end over there. And all the way over here, I've got a kick group, a snare group, my guitar's left right return, uh, snare verb, tom verb. The um, kick, all of those tracks, I mean all those uh, mics or whatever, being EQ'd separately right here. They're being gated separately, but they're all being compressed together on my happy little distressor over here. I love this thing. Same thing with the snare. So we've got the snare tracks over here, um, EQ'd separately, although the snare bottom is not EQ'd at all. Uh, gated separately, as you can see and running to distressor number two over here. And when this stuff's actually running, you can see it's slamming it pretty hard. So that's kick and snare. Um, if you want to see the settings, I don't know if you can see it. It's not really very clear. Um, all the guitars. Guitars, one, two, three, four, etc. Um, not a lot of EQ on the channel. Uh, not too much going on. But they do both hit these. The 1176. Um, it's not really compressing too hard, but really it's just adding the character because the 1176 is just a very, very characterful compressor. Bass guitar, um, right here. It's got a, a Sans Amp plug -in going on it tiny bit of EQ, nothing too crazy, it's just got a little boost of low end, and by a little, I mean that much, which is as high as it goes. From there, it's um, hitting this right here, DBX160, compressing it very heavily. After that, it actually hits this DCL, and that's really just to take a little bit of the edge off. The pick noise was a little, like, a little too crazy without the DCL there as well. Um, what else is going on? Let's see. 
Nothing on there. Vocals all compressed separately. Also, they hit this group right here, and the group is compressed as well. Um, they've got a verb, which is a TCM 9... No, it's a uh, Lexicon 960L. The delay is a PCM 91. The long delay is off a of TC Electronics M1. The H3000 just kicks in the choruses and widens it up a little. This is uh, the parallel compression group for the drum. It's just slammed with an SSL bus compressor uh, set to fast. This is just totally clean right here. Um, what else is going on that's crazy? Oh yeah, the kick also hits the, the Paltec clone over here just to add a little more low end. So, this right here is the M1 and it's just a slap delay or whatnot. I've got another delay parameter over here on the Eclipse and another one on the PCM91. That's the... Yeah, another delay. <laughs> Um, that's about it. There's nothing too crazy going on. There's a tiny, tiny bit of bus compression. It's like barely moving. But this is the mix. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. It's, it's getting there. It's, it's not perfect yet. But, um, since I only have today to do this, I can't really, you know, I can't really take too long on it. But that being said, I've used almost the entire desk, so I'm, like, almost out of options. Only stuff I've got left to do is automation. I'll probably end up doing it in Pro Tools, because honestly, I don't remember how to sync the automation computer in the SSL 9000 to Pro Tools, necessarily. It's, it's kind of convoluted, and I can't really remember, and I don't want it to start doing anything crazy, like overwriting everything I've got so far. So I'll probably print tracks back into Pro Tools and go with it from there. Cool. Lights.